Hi guys, Martin. So as I promised, uh, I'm going to go through the SPF records and how to get your, your improve your deliverability with uh, particularly with Get Response and Aweber. But I'll also be talking a little bit about self-hosted and uh, other sending domains. Um, so uh, SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. Um, basically, what it is is it's validating that uh, as the 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 sending domain name is allowed to send email from to, to send uh, emails from a given uh, autoresponder or or a, a given SMTP service. I, I guess would be more specific. Um, so what that the, the reason for that is that if you're sending from SMTP. I don't know if any of you have ever tried this, but you can send and you could put anything in and you could you could actually send and pretend to be somebody else. At university, I have to admit, I actually did do this and I would uh, send emails to people pretending to be the uh, help desk and get them to do all kinds of silly things, but that's another uh, story. Um, so what it what it means is that basically it's saying, okay, I'm gonna send as, as uh, my cool mycooldomainname.com and then the um, the email service that you're sending to so let's say it's gmail then looks at it and says okay mycooldomainname.com um, does this does is this domain name allowed to send from this SMTP service and if it is then we're fairly confident this is not a spammer because this is actually somebody who clearly owns the domain from which they're you know from which they're sending and, and has allowed access of that um, that IP address or IP address range if that makes sense so in here we've got uh, I did a little bit of research and we've got a um, the sender policy framework keys for get response that's actually quite a complicated one I'm not what that actually means is IP4 means just um, the inter the internet protocol version 4 and there's one two three four IP addresses that they send from and this I think is just basically saying that it's all going to be coming from getresponse.com now Aweb is a little bit a little bit less complicated so that's just basically saying any, include anything that comes from aweber.com which I, I'm sure that the get response one could actually do but they're being very specific with um, what the IP addresses are which would probably be safer but you know at the end of the day I don't think it makes a great deal of difference um, and then when you combine them you're basically taking that one and then adding that that in there so you're not you can't have two in a sender policy framework to uh, the IP address twice because it's then going to do two lookups for every time it sends an email which is going to slow it right down um, but if you're just combining them then you're just adding this one in so if you also sent from um, I don't know Gmail and let's say that it was Gmail and you do include call on gmail.com now I, I know that it's not I think that they have a more specific ones like uh, asmx.gmail.com and that sort of thing but you'd have to find that out but uh, hopefully you guys are not sending from there anyway um, and also when we do our self hosting that is also going to have its own version of this which you will also have to add in after what you've already got and that will allow you then to send from your domain name via get response aweber and our self hosted solution um, okay so what I do with my uh, with my um, domain names is I actually point the name servers to my hosting and I actually host them even if all they are, even if all I'm doing is forwarding just because you get a little bit more control um, it means that you can forward all your domains with with masking um, which is basically means that when you you go to um, coolstuff1.mydomain.com and it forwards it to some other location, you can do that as many times as you want. But usually with uh, with the domain registrar, which is what the way a lot of people do it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you can only forward one subdomain 
um, and you also have to purchase your uh, your email functionality whereas if you send it to your hosting then it uses that same um, it uses the same hosting space I guess so uh, it just means you can go to one place and you can look at all the emails for all your different domains I prefer it but it's each to their own nothing wrong with uh, forwarding from a registrar anyway so let me just take that out of the way so this one here is 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 actually our uh, hosting server for our self-managed um, autoresponder and what this is is there's a control panel for our account which um, which then we have uh, a number of listed um, account a, a number of listed uh, they call them accounts in here but the, the servers uh, and this is a control for the overall for all those servers so for example if we had three servers all three servers all servicing the um, send beast um, and I won't go too much into the technical detail there but you could have three servers and that just mean that the 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 autoresponder software would be nice and quick because you could have you know a person could use any one of the three servers uh, so the load wouldn't be as high uh, and you you manage it in here um, so we, if we go down to the DNS functions it's always in DNS functions so in this one we're editing a DNS zone and it's for sendbeast.com which is the name of the or will be the name of the uh, uh, the self-hosted solution that we're putting together so here this is the domain name now it's important here you have sendbeast.com which is the domain name and then you have this dot after it if you don't put that in it won't work these is the same for all of them I, I'm not uh, what is it TTL um, yeah I'm not even going to go into that it's it, most of them you don't even need to put it in but it's just yeah it's the same in it just means it's it's a, a, an incoming thing it has to be of type txt and this one is just for the um, just for a, a self-hosted solution so if I tried to send from get response or I tried to send from Aweber with sendbeast.com so martin at sendbeast.com if, if I did that it wouldn't work it would all go to uh, spam straight away but if I do it with the self-hosted solution and I did martin at sendbeast.com that would be fine because it's set up to send from that so hopefully that makes sense to you um, now here's my own domain now this is uh, the control panel for tycoon host which um, I believe a lot of you will have um, if you don't and you're having problems finding where these functions are then let me know but uh, generally they're pretty straightforward so I'll go first of all for for one that I've already set up so this one build wealth be free now these are all custom domains that we're using with uh, click magic uh, so they're set and, and pointed to my hosting as I said so we're going to DNS management so if it says DNS in it it's pr probably going to be a good pointer to that's where that's where you need to be going uh, and you can see all these gobbledygook of these records now these tell you things like this is the main domain name and you know your FTP and where your mail comes from so that IP4 will probably match that it should do yes it does so that's this here I'll go into what that is in a minute um, but that matches that and that's basically when I'm sending from Martin at build wealth be free it sends from here it, or it can send from here if I'm sending uh, Martin P at buildwealthbefree.com and I'm sending it from a self hosted solution it would use this one and it would say yep that's okay you can use that if I added in get response and I added in Aweber they would if they were in here then that would it would allow me to send using that from address if they're not in there then it will probably uh, well it won't go to spam but it will just um, it, it will say it's not found so I'm, I'm a bit dubious of this person they're a bit dodgy you know so if they start sending things with um, spammy uh, subject lines or the 
um, they're basically doing what we do as a, as a job um, it's going to affect your deliverability fairly quickly and, and that's probably a lot of the reason why we actually have to change our from address so often because it it gets hammered into the ground because we've not set this up so whenever you send an email and you send quite a few of them every day it's just going to just going to turn it's just going to make this into a into a, a spam uh, the address into a spam address now with this you can't once you fix it i believe the uh, the reputation and the deliverability will go back up again uh, 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 right so that's one of them so let's go back let's go and have a look at another one that might so let's see let's try this one your life larger so it's another custom domain all right so this is this is what was automatically set up before so it's already got an SPF in there but it's got an SPF to send from the built-in mail on this hosting so this is the mail server for the hosting so there's an SMTP uh, server just here and that adds it in so when you combine these so if you're putting in um, if you're putting in this so let's let's take this combined one that we've already got drop this down here and you've also got this existing one here so let's take so the important bit is that IP address there so if we take that and then we're going to add that in as an IP address there that's going to allow it to send from that machine as well so then we would take this and it's a txt type so we'll go in your life larger dot com oops dot com dot which is the same as this above just check that yep yeah, okay and then we're pasting that in now this needs quotes around it and you add it and then you wait a little while while the uh, server comes up Okay, so you can see that that's been added there. So then we can get rid of this one because you can't have two SPF records. So if we delete that one. Now if you're worried about this, you can always highlight it and copy it into Notepad or something like that. That's probably a good idea if you're not so sure of yourself because um, then you can revert it back to what it originally was. But to be honest with you, if you actually asked hosting, if you said, okay, I want, you know, these are the SPF records for get response and Aweber and maybe the our self hosted one and I want to set it up on here if you have a managed hosting um, environment then they'd do it for you they know what to do so I mean with the uh, with our self hosted thing they could do that they're very good at that sort of stuff you pay a bit more for them okay so that's set up so that's how that's all that 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 does um, so the only other solution is the one where we're looking at um, domains forwarded from a domain registrar and that would be someone like Namecheap or GoDaddy or in my case Domain Cheapsters which is that's actually run by an internet marketer who I, uh, I just got onto this a while ago they're a little bit cheaper than, um, than GoDaddy and it's using the GoDaddy engine it looks very similar so with these, you have to be aware of if I go to any of these ones that are that are the name servers are hosted uh, in my own hosting. So like this one, it won't allow me to edit the DNS zone because the DNS zone is on the hosting server, as I showed you. But this one here, mynewbizop.com, um, I believe that one is just a forwarded one. So let's let's try and manage this. Okay, cool, that works. So DNS zone file. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Real good. Uh, 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 right, so you can see here, this is listing what's here. So there's there's no TXT records, which means there's no send a policy framework for that yet. So add DNS. Alrighty, so there you go. It's even got an add SPF record. So inbound all and policy framework. 
additional MX addresses. Okay, so what this is saying, I've never actually done this before on this particular one, so what you'd basically be doing is you'd be adding in all these here. It's but this this user piece of shit. This user interface is, is there you go. This user interface is, is basically uh, putting together that that um, that line that I showed you before. So what we got inbound, all inbound, servers may send email. Uh, yeah. It's outbound this X. So outbound like that. Now I think there's this PTR, so that was his get response effort. So you'd have to do that. And this A, by the way, this all this A record is if you had your your mail hosting on the same server as your, your you know as your normal domain, you would have what they call an A record, which is the main record for the domain. And all that all addresses in A record means basically it would allow you to do something similar to mycooldomain.com like this. So it's uh, everything from mycooldomain.com is allowed to send via here. So y you may have a, a you know a bunch of subdomains that you could you could potentially put in there, but, or you could have a bunch of servers and that you know it will catch them all. So let's go to this PTR, drop that in. Uh, PTR, PTR. Let's see what it says. Uh, you're allowed to send them. Yeah. Okay. So you include that. So that's how that's how you would do it. I'm not actually going to add this because this particular record, this particular domain, I don't actually do anything with here. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I mean, these here are specifically set up for um, the SMTP services with this uh, domain cheapsters.com uh, and. I don't have any name cheap stuff, but I'm sure that there's people uh, who uh, who do use them. And if if you do, then uh, give me a shout, and uh, I'll help you out if you if you're stuck. But it's it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, I think that's about it. So uh, good luck with uh, setting it all up, and I'll speak to you soon.